In this video, let's take a look at the terminology which is required to have a proper understanding of Flexbox and how it works. When we talk about Flexbox, we mainly have two entities. A parent container, which we term as the Flex container, and the immediate children elements, which we term as Flex items. If you take a look at sample HTML, the parent div is the flex container and all the children divs are the flex items. Now we also deal with two axes when working with flexbox. The main axis and the cross axis. By default, the main axis runs left to right and the cross axis is perpendicular to the main axis and runs top to bottom. The starting point of the main axis is termed as main start and the end point is termed as main end. The length from main start to main end is called the main size. So we can say that the flex items flow from main start till main end and take up the main size as the length. Similarly with cross axis we have cross start cross end and cross size. We can also change the direction of the main and cross axis but we will talk more about that later in the course. Now understanding flexbox is basically getting familiar with the properties associated with the flex container and the flex items. Nothing fancy, you just learn it like how you learned CSS know what properties exist and how they work. So in the next video, let's begin by focusing first on all the properties that are associated with just the flex container. I'll see you guys in the next video.